Hello, Internet, and uh, welcome back to Primal. I am Sterny. With me is Arcanum. Greetings. Uh, Anok. Hello. And, of course, Jakael. Hi there. The King of Wands and... tarot card. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Ace of Wands. Tell me about <laughs> Iblis. No, I did the ace. <laughs> oh, what was the one we missed? It's the king. king. Oh, go ahead. Might be used for a decisive man who was given to quiet deliberation. Some of his undesirable traits include a quick temper and or self-righteousness. More inclined to take an idea and change the world to match his vision than make a new idea. Master of being able to get other people to do his work for him. So basically, the game dev suited Iblis as an appropriate character. Yeah. Certainly more really appropriate just... than the villainous cups. There's no one around to do his work for him, so he made you someone who can do his work for him, so he doesn't have to now. Because you're around to do his work for him. I think just in general what I enjoy about this game and how they do it is like they take the the tarot cards and they make an effort um, maybe it doesn't always land perfectly on point but they make an effort to get the tarot card personalities to line up with how they write their characters in game and on top of that they get the um, mythological references fairly close as well I believe um, Iblis was in Islamic mythology, a deceiver. Yeah, he's pretty much uh, a big bad genie. Yeah, a big bad genie and, and an asshole. Yeah, and in here, he's a self-righteous asshole who always gets his way. It's like, yeah. Oh, well, he's the hello again, Lodestones. I've How missed I you. you. So much. I haven't. Let's okay, now fight. I actually remember what the hell we're doing. Taking the glowy thing. Oh, you remembered? Yeah, we're taking the glowy thing for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, I'm glad you're still alive. This way, I get to kill you myself. Is that really what you're supposed Wait. to be sounding like right now? It's too bad Scream. you can't kill him. We're allies. We're He's possessed with evil assholishness. You no, know, considering all the loads that you've collected, Why if you kill his body, can't he just possess the entire well, mountain? Jin essence passed you by Iblis has placed Oh, that would be a There's one right there. Scree is Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Spoilers! Lodestones will be involved. Let me help you, please. You don't really want to hurt me. <laughs> the first time I saw this, I was like, that Lodestone really wants you to know it's there. <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> very distracting to the cutscene. Okay, how can she control the doors like that? She has she, she, she saw Lord of the Rings Part 2. Please don't call me that. But does this mean that when you get her back, she can open the doors like that too? No, because you'll have replaced her boss man powers with boss lady Dang it. powers. Wait, did he duck an attack that wasn't going to hit him to begin with? She, yeah, he doesn't have to lean to the side. Right, young lady. You leave me no option. So evidently, we are learning Boy, that Scree has size issues. As a we did her go ting when she pulled it out of nothing. <laughs> because and reasons. Have the ting. She literally just summoned her sword from her hand, and it goes ting. Uh -oh. It's like when Wolverine goes shing, even though it's just moving through his skin. It's not brushing against anything metal. Why are we restarting the game? What's happening? No. Let me explain, you people oh. that want to get stuff. So here's what's going on. Normally in this boss fight, um, you're supposed to run around the room and collect lodestones. And oh, she is boy. supposed to ineffectually hit you like that. And I was trying to show this off. Except she just straight up wrecks my shit, which is a completely new thing for me. I was not expecting to see that. I was As thinking, another what, note, did she accidentally fall off a cliff? <laughs> I think I missed that. That was actually rather impressive then. Yeah. Now, as, an, as another note, you had not yet seen the game over screen. 
Yeah. That was the game over screen. Alright, then. What a terrible You game die over. in your coma. Yeah, it's like you're still in your coma and you never leave it. Just, that's it. This is what I wanted to show. Completely and utterly ineffectually hitting you. Except when she actually destroys you. Except when she lucked out that one time. Yes, I'm still confused about that one, to be honest. And now she's waiting, waiting patiently for you. <laughs> Welcome to what I consider to be the hardest boss fight you will have in the game so far. He had to gain his balance because he was no longer used to walking. I absolutely wobble. love that wobble, by the way, when he adjusts himself sitting up. That's great. I also I love this walking. I don't think he's used to being able to stand up right now. Yeah, maybe. You are still getting your shit wrecked. Yeah, thank you. Oh, here's the problem with this particular one. Um, Jen, as a player that is on your side, is kind of shit. Jen as a boss just fucking wails all of her flame swords together um, and basically kind of hit locks you. Um, she's got this big she long has combo. Much better AI as a boss. Yes, so significantly as a boss, so. She is boss. Yes. And on top of that, here's the big problem. Uh, you lucked out and didn't see it this time, but um, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to die. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that again. oh wait, never mind. All right, we stand up, and as soon as you get down, she hits you a lot. It's like, hey, look, there's, there's a quarter of your health gone. <laughs> yeah, that was a. That's like a third. Of third. Third, a quarter, whatever. By and large, the best, like the worst I've gotten away with is like, oh, my health is down by half, and I haven't even started the fucking fight. Now, what you're actually supposed to do is kind of play fast and loose in circles. And if you basically get hit, uh, at the start, she's just going to do the whole huge flailing thing. So, duck and move, duck and move, I guess. Yeah, take that. So hit and run. Oh, you do have to fight the good hop. You bunny hop like a boss. You don't I walk as well, but your hop is excellent. I think you're still yes. used to being a gargoyle. So you still move as one. Okay. So much damage. It is so dumb. I hate this boss fight. I had to go through like a good, what, four or five times and I got so stressed out I had to, you know, step away from a while and start playing my Boohoo Zella. Uh, Let's break Iblis's hold over you. Just the worst. Uh, Why didn't you just do that before? Jen. How are you feeling? Did she need to be unconscious I to do that? Out of the mosh pit. Everyone knows you need an unconscious lady before you can... There? Okay, this has taken a dark turn. Man, I was having some weird dreams. If you kill her somewhere else on the floor, does the statue in this cutscene move? I don't believe so. I think it basically just hangs out. Well, yes, but no more than I'd expect under the circumstances. What was I doing? Freaking out? Talking to tongues? Channeling Elvis? It doesn't matter, Jen. You're back now. Oh, well, you did close the doors. Come on, Scree. I won't be embarrassed. With your mind. Was I like some drooling wreck slumped in the corner? I yeah, that was kind of mean. Can you show us how to do that? Oh. Because I, I really like the oh whole door God. open close thing with I'm telekinetic powers. I hate you. Was there a lodestone you well, missed, or did they come back? One, half a dozen. Is he floating back? back. I think they came back. They, they came back See, because I'm I so didn't sorry. bother picking them up. It's in the past now. Remember? I died a lot. Really, Scree, your size uh, is simply... So I've got a whole room of lodestones yet to pick up in this one, because <laughs> I... Do, do you... Have you seen how many lodestones I have? Look, you better shift into the Jin aspect to check Malakel's essence is pure. Well, let's see. Must kill Shorty. I love the expression on the wings that just droop right there, by the way. He's just. Speaking of that, whoever built this statue that Scree is possessing did an excellent job on those wings because you can see through them. Yeah, they, they did a fantastic job on the articulation. And they are made of stone. They did Very a fantastic job. 
all around. That is a really good masonry. Fantasy world, fantasy materials. This is, he isn't from the fantasy world. He was from the real world. He's currently in the fantasy world. Touch fantasy. Oh, that's the thing. This is all for real. Yeah. It's a strange kind of real world. So, probably not. <laughs> to be honest, the last time I remembered, oh yeah, you could just probably try running past, was that one water fight. Where I just got so fed up on crabs. Pretty much every other fight, by and large, has been not as terrible as crabs. Crabs make you crabby. It really did. Fuck crabs. I thought they were the worst. I mean, most of these fights are like with the stupid lava monsters. Those aren't too bad. And at this point, I've got a really big fuck off sword. Well, I'm not using on this one because I could just wreck his day. I mean, I, I consider that largely fine. Give me my souls! Jeez, I had so a does the manual say give a name to the weapons that you get in each form? No. Aw. I was not hoping that it would have the big two-handed sword as a flamberge. I still distinctly remember the page that spoke about how you can sneak up on enemies and take them out. <laughs> Why haven't you been doing I ask you, have we at any point snuck up on an enemy to take them out? No, because you're not wearing the right outfit. You totally need to be in your sneak suit. The sneak suit was actually the ball gown. You need to meet Malika, the queen. True. 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 They never noticed. That is the only time that we had any spo any sort of espionage. I'm afraid we do need her. And even then it didn't work. They knew who you were immediately. Yeah. They wanted to I, allow you to think majesty, they I felt more. I actually kind of think that maybe the uh, sneaking part was see. going to be a part of this game. Now. Um, because keep in mind that Scree's got, like, torch and w rope, really. I mean, his combat ability is turn into a rock dude. And, or, you know, a bigger rock dude, anyways. And Jen, by and large, could sneak around. Maybe. Did Jen make a dad joke in this conversation? The gift he gave him was Maybe. A hot stone. I think she said hi occasionally, I'm Jen. According to legend, the stone stays the ravages of time and sickness and protects from the hand of both demon and mortal, but not Andy. that of a hybrid. So it's the same type of stone that Lewis pulled out of Cronus. Exactly. You could say it's a kind of magic. Stone, the timekeeper may be revived. You must kill the king and take Seems to me that you've got sort of a you weird issue your if your rock that and prevents people from picking it up and demons from picking it up for some so reason does some not cover power. demons and, and people Kronos. at the same and time eggs. in the same person. And the realm would all survive. It's people and demons, but not and demonic here. people. Uh, demonic uh, people is a step so. too far. What do you think, Jen? You who's got to do that would require a third type of bear. Well, since everyone else wants a heist, who How very I taxonomic of it. It's like, no, it's no, no, this is not a bird. This is clearly a bird like being. Iblis's powers are strongest like when the magma rises. They're and the volcano birds. is already awakening. Now that you are lost in it, he will have retreated to his hall of gods. He will be expecting you. Thank you, Your Majesty. How does he Ready, know Jen? she is lost to him? Can he feel it in his bones? Magic, psychic, link. Yeah, you know, magic. It just magics. Also, I would like to point something out. Look at the throne! Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck is our queen? Magic. But yeah... We yeah, magic. Sure. Welcome to the lower chambers, BT Dubs. 
Hey, another it's torch. Like, All right, now that that's over, I'm gonna kick back and watch some gin TV. I hear Oprah's been doing some stuff. I don't think I can express how annoyed I get at all of the treasure chests with nothing in them. <laughs> oh, come on, wouldn't that be the exact thing that Legend of Zelda is lacking? It is you know, the worst. I think there's more empty treasure chests than there are full ones. At oh, this point, good. yes. Absolutely. On another note, do you recall the last time you guys asked me about um, how the AI handles combat? Sure, let's say Not that. Really? Okay, well, Ooh, fun fact. I remember we discussed it during the boss fight. You asked me how competent um, it, Jen just fighting on her own could do. Ah, yes. That's what I did that. So what I did was I took this fight and I doubled it down. Nice picture. If you look at the back there, you can see her. Yeah. Oh, I see her. Yeah. He is after all the two glowing sticks. Occasionally yes, the, moving around. The two rave sticks. Yes, absolutely. That, that looks like a lot more blocking than what we saw in the boss fight. It's hidden face. Yes. It's a, it's a very large juxtaposition between the AI being competent and the AI coming to wreck, you know, your hopes and dreams at being able to just sit around to scream. It looks like as, as just a regular battle AI, she's basically like everyone else. <laughs> kind of. As opposed to like a boss. That's because she's no longer a boss. Except the difference but it's weird is that they seemingly gave her two AIs. One that is very aggressive and one that is basically like your enemies. Yeah. I'm still hung up on that boss a little bit. Um, like, the reason it was by and large really, really difficult was simply because you did not have regeneration gems. Like, um, in the Aether boss fight with Raum. Like, he wrecked me, he technically killed me, but I had a I had a do-over. I technically kind of have 12 do-overs. By the way, when you see that little dial at the top, in the corner, that's a gem being used. So keep fun count of that if you like. No, thank you. So they're basically like fairies in Zelda? Pretty much, yes. When you you're died, a they pop, you get a new life. When your demon energy goes down to zero in the form that you are currently at, you use up one gem, which takes you out of combat, and you have to enter combat again while people are trying to wail on you. When you completely run out of those gems, then you are stuck in human form. And when you die in human form, you see the game over screen. And back to the combat. Precisely. Keep in mind that in none of this scenario does it automatically change you into another demon. Will AI gem ever turn back into regular gem? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, now not in this one of, because... you have to wait around. Actually, I don't know because I didn't try pushing her that far. Uh, she just kind of, you know, managed to succeed before running out of life gems. Three <laughs> life gems? No, I, I'm not going to. We started the fight with enough. 12. That's your hint. Which one? I'm going to let this run 12? until she kills everything, by the way. <laughs> I was about yeah. to ask, is this going to go away or is this just going to keep up until it's done? No, it's going to keep up until the fight ends. There was also a fight later on that I was going to juxtapose, but, well... Now, is the video going we'll see. to before the fight ends? Which one do we continue from? Uh, the main screen. <laughs> the main screen, I'm assuming. Yes. Continue from this. The one that picked up a new life gem. Handy. <laughs> Handy indeed. <laughs> oh, wait, more combat. Go down there. Yeah! There's another couple of guys back here. Oh, there's uh, another gem. Before the other gem is done with her fight. 
I should probably mention around this point, I kind of got bored and I went to go make some coffee. <laughs> so that's why Scree didn't actually follow up. I was like, oh, I made some coffee. I should probably join yeah. the fight now. It's like, oh, it's way over there now. Yeah. They are much more mobile. Now, on the main screen, I would like to point out there is finally a lodestone in a chest. Yay! We Hold on! I'm not done yet. Oh. And then there's one on the ground right there. <laughs> there's another lodestone. Not in a chest? <laughs> it well, there's, gets there's a chest by it. But there's also a chest in And nothing's in it. I'm looking at this, I was like, what the fuck? Well, we could have had that other lodestone in this chest, too. Sort of a symmetrical thing, but nah. <laughs> I absolutely love that section. I mean, there are... If you kind of pay some attention, you'll notice that there's a lot of just items strewn about and even more chests that are empty. And I just keep asking, why didn't you just put the items in the chests? Why? Because just they wanted why? to make it obvious where the items were. The chest just blended in with the background too much. Oh yes, the background of black magma. Yes. Oh look, there's a gem thing. We could have stuck a chest in here. I guess. Oh, I love this room. This was a room that I asked myself a very important question. Can enemies fall off a cliff? Can enemies fall off a cliff? What's your answer, man? Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, the man. answer is a resounding yes. Uh, but now you can't get their demon energy from them. Nah, they're fine. I honestly do not care. God, this is satisfying. These are the weakest types of enemies. We're going to be fine. Absolutely fine. Until that it's AI still GMO going there. up there. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah. Looks like we've got two <laughs> enemies left. Come on, so, finish it. Finish it. Does this sort of hammer home the question <laughs> of should we have let the AI handle everything? If we could I think that this AI, resoundingly sure. answers that one. It sure does. Well, if you're really bad at combat, and some uh -huh. of the AI is better than you, then sure, it would have been alright. It would have okay. taken you 20 hours to finish each area, but it would For still be alright. But... Well, there's a slight problem with that, because I'm currently at 12 regen gems. Um, when I started this fight, and for the most part, I haven't really, finger quotes, died all that many times. So that is an accumulation across four different worlds, right? Right, and they do not respawn, probably. Yes, they do not reaccumulate, they are simply in the world, if you pick them up, you get them. And, I mean, they are never going to be a, a enemy drop. Those are souls, the little yellow things. Oh, look it! I think she's finally done. All right. Would That's you like awesome. to know how many gems she went through? How many? Seven. Wait, seven, yes. All right, so almost half. More, more than half. She died seven times in a fight <laughs> against four dudes. Like, I don't think I even see seven gems in a single area. If you've collected them all right now and haven't died, that's... Like yeah, I think I went area. through... Just top uh, of my head, I'm gonna ballpark, maybe I went through like, maybe three, maybe four? Throughout this entire run so far? Yeah. Meanwhile, 13. Yeah. Feels good. I swear. Where do you jump to now? This architecture is <laughs> maddening. There was actually a um, post about the um, architecture of all of this world, and uh, look, I work in buildings. This stuff is maddening to me, but I have long, long since ago accepted the fact that video games are absolute shit at buildings. 
Um, I believe All right, we're going to need you to put in some duct work here. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, come to think of it, wasn't there that one time, like, in Payday 2, there was um, a map Election Day, Day 2, and I just ranted about how the air conditioning got put into this building and how it made absolutely no sense. Yeah. That was a good, good ten-minute rant or something like that. I think the worst thing to video games is being someone that knows how this stuff works and having to just simply accept the fact that it's not going to go that way. Oh, that's true for a lot of media. The yeah. less you know, the better you are off. Absolutely. Especially if it's even like fake stuff like books. If you know how a book goes and a movie is doing a book wrong. Yeah. Actually, that's oh, another that's thing it. that absolutely grates at me. Like, I don't understand. Um, let's say. Alright, let's say there is a show or whatnot. And someone pulls out a sword. And there is the metal swing noise. Mm -hmm. In a moment where there would never actually be a metal swing noise. It, uh, it sounds cool, my man. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. It sounds sad. To hear. The swing noise works when the two metal bits hit each other. Not or when it comes out of its other. gabbard. Yeah. Meanwhile, Scree wiggles. It's a long wall, I okay? Miss his, <laughs> I gotta do something. I miss his fast-forward ice skating. No. That was some good stuff. That was good stuff, wasn't it? Don't worry. We'll be probably doing that next time. Oh, God. Next time. Ah, oh, that'll be fun. I wonder what we're going to be doing here. Oh, we're looking I don't at this know. lovely curtain Maybe of Maybe possessing lava. this conspicuous thing over here. And not Those are really, it. really long bird wings. They are. All right, <laughs> mentally lean. How that bird mentally lean. Be able to sit in reality, or would it just kind of be stuck standing on really narrow passages? Uh, and yeah. Bonk. Personally, I think it's just a bird exaggerated for effect. My better oh, yeah, question is, how did they build all of this? I mean, the scaffolding alone must be a challenge. Then again, well, they, they somehow have managed the to make... boss powers of, hey, I can control things. Like there fire and lava, yeah. I mean, they and did... And we've already determined that whoever sculpts for at least Abaddon's realm is a very good one. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's that, the same. They, maybe the sculptor day, there is the same person who built all the mechanical stuff in the water realm. Oh, jeez, the water realm. That's maybe you've just got like one master stonemason doing all this stuff for all the realms, and then things kind of went kaput. Can you think of how well that guy has to get paid? Maybe it was Kronos. This is a safe pillar. Nah, Kronos is busy. <laughs> yep, let's go right ahead. Yep. No problem. What if Scree was still possessing the statue when you did that? I don't think you can do that, actually. Then again, I haven't tried, so well, who I don't knows? Think you but... Can either, but it's a hypothetical situation. Yeah, fair enough. I think once you've tipped over his ability to go, eh, it's probably over. Don't I don't just think he makes it able to unfold the wings. I mean, that would be handy. Yeah, but he didn't bother doing that to tip over the column. I know. So clearly his only ability was to just sort of immobily merge himself. Well, obviously if he did that, then it wouldn't fall quite the way it did, and she wouldn't be able to climb it. Personally, I love the phrase, immobily merge yourself. Is that a jet plane noise? <laughs> <laughs> Something sounds kind of weird. Something's too weird. I mean, one of the things I still have trouble with is looking at their beaks and trying to figure out do they have one beak or two? One. Because some of them get a little bit tricky. Theoretically, maybe it was supposed to be like a metallic, metallic cough. Metallic cough. 
Aren't they all supposed to be stone, not metal? Oh, uh, I don't know. They're usually gold and shiny, so I think of them as metal. Have you seen Malakel's boobs? Those are not stone. Yeah, but I don't exactly think they're metal either, because then they would just melt in, you know, this volcano they're in and never seem to leave. Um, Why, that rock does not either. melt? Well, that's what lava is in magma. Still. Yeah, but we've got lava fountains. <laughs> Next time, we check out the hallway and that big room. Mm. That's a big room. Oh, yeah.